Welcome back to another episode of Magical Insight with Luke Hillis, broadcasting from beautiful Fairfield, Iowa. We've really had a change in weather in the last couple of weeks. I hope it sticks like this because I love this weather. I feel so free in it. This is a show about tools, practices, and perspectives for increasing fulfillment in life. And what I have to share with you today is a work in progress. I'd like to share with you what I'm doing with myself right now. So I, I um, share it in this way because I haven't necessarily really understood the principles fully involved. So I don't teach it from the perspective of mastery, but I teach it from the perspective of journey. So you might find it intriguing and inspiring to you. So basically... The goal that I am pursuing, that I'm seeking at this moment, and that I'm planning to really pursue with seriousness once I have departed my work and I have my extended period of free time, in case you don't know, in about six months, I've given my notice to leave my work in about six months, I'm saving up money, and I'm going to have time to just focus on whatever I choose to focus on, which I'm immensely excited about. So what I'm wanting to focus on is culturing a certain kind of state to be living you know, more or less all the time to varying degrees. And the idea here is that how I feel throughout the day and at any given moment is very much a product of how I'm thinking, how I'm, what, what my focus is on. And so when we learn to culture habits of focus, Meaning, focus meaning where we put our attention. It doesn't mean like straining on something. It just means like where is my, where, what am I putting my attention on? What aspect of reality am I putting my attention on in this moment? And then I have a feeling, you know, basically how that moment or how that point of attention relates with my beliefs that produces what I feel. And of course, also my state, how I feel, is very much a product of how I'm taking care of myself, if I'm getting good rest, if I'm eating good food, if I'm drinking enough water. Like literally, physical well-being is such an enormous component of emotional well-being. So if you, if you, need, if you want a quick boost in your emotional well-being and you know of things that you can be doing better physically, like the really important things, like sleeping well or meditating. If you're not meditating, I really encourage you to get started. I recommend Transcendental Meditation. And I recommend meditation in general. See what resonates with you. And, uh, you know, if you're not drinking enough water, if when you pee, it's yellow, you need more water. <laughs> it should only be, you know, it should be almost clear when you pee. That's your natural metric if you're drinking enough water. It should be almost clear. Or clear. But almost clear is fine too. And then eating. I mean, that's that's such a... You gotta You gotta know what, you know, eating is such a kind of a complex thing but if you know there's a way to eat that makes you feel better than what you're doing right now then that's how you know there's a chance to feel better so anyway back to the original point which is that i'm seeking to cultivate a certain kind of state of existing of feeling that i live with all day basically in any circumstance and to me the kind of state that i want to live in throughout the day is a state of what I call love and magic. And to me, love and magic is the state of just loving life and loving myself and feeling all possibilities and anything can happen and something of that. It's a little hard to exactly pinpoint, but to me, love and magic, it's a very clear feeling. And for everybody, it's going to be different. I'm not advocating that this is the feeling that everybody should be pursuing. I think it's very individual. So that is the state that I want to live in on an ongoing basis. And so what I'm doing to cultivate that, of course, I'm, you know, like I get a good sleep and then I meditate and then I get out on the trail. Usually when I make these videos, it's when I come right off the trail and I use my, I consciously direct my attention in ways that help me feel that. For example, one of the questions that I ask myself over and over again, because I'm intentionally seeking to cultivate a habit of asking this question. Because questions is what directs where we put our attention. The question that I'm asking myself is, 
how can I appreciate even more the love and magic I'm sharing with myself and others in this moment? How can I appreciate even more the love and magic that I'm sharing with myself and others in this moment? And as soon as I asked that question, like just now, I started seeing some birds flying. I started breathing more deeply. Just naturally, my body responds, well, how can I appreciate even more? I start seeing this water over here and seeing the way it shimmers. Just the question, it naturally drives my attention to be like, well, how can I appreciate even more the love and magic that I'm sharing with myself and others in this moment? So I ask myself that over and over again. And I consciously draw on joyous energy as well. I've noticed that if I just choose joy, like it's, like it's there, it's there. And it's not always there so fully expressed. Um, but it, I can usually draw it up from whatever level it is to at least another step higher. And so by doing that over and over again, like I've just been doing for the last 45 minutes or something, then I come to make this video and I'm feeling pretty joyous. <laughs> and the goal is to feel this all day. So at this, at this present moment, I don't feel this all day. I often lose it. Like if I'm trying to focus, like I'm trying to solve a problem, something work-related, I'm trying to accomplish something, I often it becomes more neutral for me. Or, um, especially with other people, I've been really noticing that I actually have a lot more anxiety with people than I've been willing to admit to myself throughout my life, especially in the last decade or so. Where, what I've noticed is that when I'm starting to be with somebody else, there's all these different fears that can crop up for me. Like, one of them is I feel like I'm connecting with them. I'm making some meaningful eye contact. And then just like the inner fireworks start going off. It's like, oh shit, oh, pardon my language. Like, oh no, uh, the, uh, <laughs> oh, oh no, I might, I'm feeling this love and connection that I crave. I might lose it or I might get rejected in it, which is something that I feel like I've gone through a lot of times. And then it's like, and then I just feel all this tension coming in and, and I want to run away. It's like, okay, so that's one place where I lose it. This is really heartbreaking because I'm like, I'm actually starting to get what I'm really wanting. And then I just, <laughs> you probably have some version of this that you do as well. Or another version, it's like, oh, well, what are they? It's similar, but a little different. Like, what are they? Like, like today, I'd be on the trail and I try to make a point of radiating a positive energy to people that I see on the trail. They're like, oh, hey, hi, good morning. And... The majority of people I run into aren't like that. And I just get this like total ignoring look or just like this look of like, uh, what are you trying to get or something? And it's like, oh, <laughs> so I, I feel, and in my daily life, I'm not always necessarily trying to radiate that level of joy, but I just, I, I, one way or another, I find some method to feel tension around other people quite a lot. So. Anyway, what I'm wanting to do then, you know, now and then certainly once I have all my time to be using for my growth activities, is to culture that state like I, like I feel right now. I very much feel in that state right now. And then go out and find environments that, you know, make it a little harder to continue to keep that state. And then just like, you know, do my best to keep up that state in a natural and joyous way, not a forcible way, but, you know, a, a, a natural way. And then when I feel that state, you know, waning beyond what I can really maintain, then getting back out to an environment like this and reculturing and then going back in and just training myself to maintain this joyousness in a self-sufficient way, such that I'm not depending on the validation of others. It's just, this is how I relate with life. So my invitation to you, if you found this method enticing, is to start intentionally culturing more and more the state that you want to feel and if you have the time and space start once you've cultured it expose yourself to an environment that challenges you to maintain that state and then come back and reculture it and then go back out and do it again and i think over time we will be developing a permanent state of what we want to feel all the time so this is luke uh subscribe share comment reach out to me i'd love to hear from you i hope this was inspiring and i look forward to seeing you tomorrow